folks, this is Pastor Mike Hoggard, pastor of Bethel Church in Festus, Missouri, and head of Prophetic Research Ministry with another Watchman video broadcast. Actually, this is going to be a, a sort of a unique and a different Watchman broadcast, something different than what we normally do here on this broadcast. Uh, God showed me something this morning that when I saw it, that the hairs just raised up on the back of my neck. And I hope and I think that when I show you what I've got to show you today, uh, you're going to see something in a whole new light today. We're going to talk about, instead of us just giving news and current events and things that are going on in the church and some of the wacky stuff that Todd Bentley's doing this week, we're going to look at something that uh, I, I think will be interesting to us. And I think that it's something, as I was praying about this, I think and I hope that it's something that God wanted us to know. Something that God wanted us to see. Something He wanted us to understand about what's going on in the days that we're living in right now. You know, one of the things that I, that I don't do in this ministry is that I don't set dates. I don't say, well, you know, the stars are going to align here, and this is going to happen in the Middle East, and then that's going to be the rapture, and, and it's going to happen, you know, July 14th, you know. I don't do that in this ministry, but I will tell you that I believe that two things are going on. Number one, we are absolutely seeing an unfolding of the very pages of the Word of God right in front of our very eyes in the days that you and I are living in. The second thing is we also see an unfolding of our understanding of what this book is about and what it says and how it reveals things that are prophetic for us in the last days. We're going to be talking about the Antichrist, the beast. No, I don't, I don't know who it is. I don't think it's Barack Obama. I don't think it's Henry Kissinger. I don't think it's Yasser Arafat, although it could be because he's dead now. I'm pretty sure it's not me, and I don't think it's you either. But let's look at some clues. Let's look at some ideas, some understandings that I think God wants us to see. And that understanding is going to come from two places. The primary source that we're going to look at today will be our King James Bibles. The other source that we're going to look at are things that are out in this world. You know, we're going to use the Bible as glasses to see really what's going on in this world. I'm going to talk about the beast, the Antichrist. And if those of you who have never heard anything like this before, let me introduce you to him via the Scriptures. Revelation chapter 13, verse 1. Here is John the Apostle. And he's talking about a vision that God gave him concerning things that were going to happen in the last days. John said, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was likened to a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat, and great authority. Now we know who that dragon is. We know that the dragon is Lucifer himself. That is identified for us in Revelation 12, and we'll see that here in a little bit. Verse 3, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Now if you have seen uh, any of our previous videos, any of the teaching that we have put out here uh, on how to understand the Bible as a prophetic word, you know that there are word symbols given to us in the scriptures and things that sort of draw pictures in our mind. They're called simil similitudes in the Bible. They're called typology or in samples or examples. They're even called shadows in the New Testament of things that are going to take place. So I want you to think in the Bible as you read some of this stuff, and we won't get into nearly all of this in this video or in this broadcast, but it says, I saw in one of his heads as it were wounded to death. So I want you to kind of think in your mind of Bible stories where someone was wounded in their head. And for that matter, because I kind of know what I've got coming out later on this year, you might want to think of something historical, maybe something that has happened in this country that relates to someone receiving a deadly wound in their head. Think about it, all right? But anyway, I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast, and they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, and who is able to make war with him. So I want you to understand that, number one, this beast rises up. I want you to get this picture. John is looking out over the sea. The sea is often a picture in the Bible of the underworld, what lies underneath it. 
And so here's John, he's standing on the sand of the sea, and he sees this beast rise up out of the sea. You've heard that name before, the beast, 666 and all that stuff. That's who this is talking about, and that's who we're dealing with here. And it says that he had, in one of his heads, he had a deadly wound, which caused his death, and then that wound was healed, and so he was alive, was killed, and he's going to be brought back to life one of these days. May have already taken place, I don't know, but it will happen one of these days for sure. We also see that this, um, this beast causes everyone to not only worship the beast, but worship the dragon, which gave his power unto the beast. So anyway, so I want you to get this picture here. Here we have a beast rising up out of the sea. The Antichrist, John calls him, rising up out of the sea. We're going to further identify or understand a little bit of his characteristics. Looking in Revelation chapter 13, verse 5, the Bible says, And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Now, it's really interesting because the other night in our church service, we were talking about this here. And uh, I was talking about, I don't know, you know, sometimes I'll chase rabbits here, there, and everywhere. We were talking about uh, this idea of the number six and the number seven. And I was asking, you know, what the number six meant. The number six is the number for man. The creation of man took place on the sixth day. And in Genesis chapter six, go study Genesis chapter six if you want to get a further understanding of what this beast really is all about, what makes him what he is. The number six would then be the number for man. The number seven, obviously, in the Bible, and you can look at various places, is the number for God. So here we have, now watch this. I'm going to show you a verse here in Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. We believe that Jesus not only is the Son of God, but He is God in the flesh. He literally was both God and man at the same time. In Matthew chapter 1, we have a lineage of Christ given. And then in verse 17, there is a summation of that lineage. I want you to notice. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away unto Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. If you add those up, that's 42 generations. From Abraham to Jesus Christ, that is a multiple of six and seven. And here we have this idea that Jesus is fully man and yet fully God. So we go back then to Revelation chapter 13. We see that the Antichrist is sort of the antithesis of everything that Jesus is. He is his exact opposite. Jesus comes down from heaven. The beast rises up from the sea, or we'll see later on, the bottomless pit. Very important for you to remember that as we move forward in this. So the Antichrist, the beast, is the antithesis of Jesus Christ. He is his exact opposite here. And here we have the beast who is allowed to continue 40 and 2 months. Here again, that is a multiple of 6 times 7. 6 for the number of man, 7 for the number of gods or God himself. Remember the dragon has 7 heads and this beast has 7 heads indicating you to you his source where he's from, what he really is. He is the fusion of...